All right, so uh, first thing I want to say thank you to, uh, to my coach. Thank you, coach, for calling me today. We had a great conversation. Um, I'm back on track here with the training. I also want to thank all the people who really uh, sent nice messages of encouragement uh, over the last couple of days on, on, my, uh, on my channel because I was really depressed last week. But like I said, that, uh, that depression cycles in uh, about every 14 days. You know, there's a lot of things uh, that all of us are dealing with during this uh, ridiculously bizarre, scary, annoying, patient, trying time. You know, people are dealing with a lot of stuff out there, and, and um, no one's immune to the to the to the cycle of the negative emotions. So, you know, I've I uh, I experienced a really good, uh, really good rough three four days last week of depression. I was worn out from the training a little bit. So. These things happen, they pass, and we're starting all over again today with a new mindset, new enthusiasm, a refreshed body, and there's pop back into my lifts. Uh, everything felt really, really great and light today, so no complaints there, but it was really talking with my coach that, uh, that got me back on track because... Here's the thing, man. When you're when you're working to getting really, really strong, as strong as you can possibly be, everything affects your training. Everything. So you have to weigh your entire life before you in order to problem solve in the gym, and uh, that's kind of what we did this morning. So again, thanks again, Coach, and. Uh, Everybody out there, thank you very much for the for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Now, onto this training. The body felt really, really great. I'm down. Um, let's see. I'm down almost 11 pounds from last week, and the goal is to get to 285. And uh, I think that really is a possibility. To perform all the lifts well at, at 285 to really hit all my personal bests at around round of body weight at 285 290 I really see it my body's starting to feel it uh, there might be another deload coming in um, not sure what uh, what you want to do about that coach but um, I've really dialed my diet back in um, I'm saying I'm a lot and I'm not gonna stop to re-record everything so I'm going to do my best to stop saying um so much okay these squats today felt really good upper back tightness was there the body was moving like it was on a rail the hips felt really really great I honestly believe that the sprinting that I did this week and I've only done one sprinting session really woke up something in my body woke up some sort of woke up the fast twitch muscle fiber something but today the king of why this training session was successful was the rest periods i took eight to ten minutes between each set so i could just fully fully recover and everything felt light as a result i took 10 minutes from uh, from the last set to this set I gave myself 10 full minutes to recover, and I hit all these deep. They all got to depth, and they all felt light. Yep, that is past. These two are deeper. Yep, and the last one is the deepest. And even though it looked a little slow, felt really good uh, and light. Now I believe I can I can speed up my I can speed up my my squat just a little bit, not too much. But by the end of the next eight week training cycle, I want a faster squat 
a much more controlled squat. Now, <clears throat> what I was noticing here was that the barbell, not on this first rep here, but on this rep, I finally felt the barbell over my midfoot and I felt a connection where the barbell was connected to my spine and where the barbell was moving over my midfoot. It's kind of like I, my brain was in two places at the same time thinking vertical, up, down, up, down. My brain, my it's like in my, in my mind's eye, I can feel the center of the barbell on my spine and I can feel the entire barbell over my midfoot. And all I have to do is hinge and unhinge. So these reps felt really, really clean. They were really, really easy. And I think I'm on my way again with another good eight to 12 weeks of training where things are going to be feeling light, but let's just not get ahead of ourselves like that. You know, um, let's just take it one day at a time, one training session at a time, but I feel really positive for the future coming up with the training. Now the bench felt incredibly light today. The deload paid off major dividends in the bench. Bench never has ever in my life felt this light as it did today. So I'm very, very happy with that. Extremely happy with that. This 225 moved, uh, felt like 135. And coming up this Wednesday, I'll be back to doing dips. In batches of five, that is. So that 225 moved fast, yeah. But I mean, I'm telling you, man, last week I was just conked. Every negative thing in my life seemed to be weighing down on me, and I just couldn't get it out of my head, you know, just all the negative in the world. So that affected my training big time, but uh, I'm feeling on top of the world today. Here we go. Nice pause. That's another good pause. Right here, I'm at the power lifting meet in my mind. Nice press and rack. There we go. Okay, so we get down to the assistance work here. I was happy just to have a nice easy set of four. I'm just taking eight minutes in between each set. No less than eight minutes. Eight minutes was the number of the day. Eight to ten minutes. And it just paid off. It just, it was incredible how those rests, those good generous rest periods, they just, I mean, I felt like I hadn't even done anything by the time I walked up to this barbell here. I felt completely 100% refreshed like I like like it was when I used to just do one main lift each day I felt like I hadn't even squatted or benched because I gave myself 20 minutes in between squat and bench and 20 minutes in between bench and deadlift and I uh, kept my water up kept you know I kept hydrated and these moved really, really nice. But, you know, to tell you the truth, last weekend, uh, 490 moved like shit. And today, I, I did not want to be, uh, be failing anything. So, it was really, really time to get my head completely in gear. I took a... Um, I went from four, 405 to 475, so this is 475 here, and that felt really good, so I took the jump from 475 to 515, just a nice little 40 pound jump, and hit this for a triple, yep, 
I felt good. And I was like, all right, I've arrived. I'm good now. Crank that one. And yeah, there we go. Feeling really good, feeling really good on that one. All right. So now the goal, and I'm still taking the eight minute rest periods. Actually, I took 10 minutes in between uh, each one of these just to really see how I'd feel. And I really, I really needed the rest. Um, so I took it, you know, I just, just trying this new thing out and the rest is, is the, the rest period, the long rest period. That's really was, was the, uh, this was the deciding factor today. So now that I'm at this stage in my lifting where, uh, I'm lighter than I've ever been and I'm hitting PRs all the time, you know, every day pretty much is a PR in the gym. So I'm making uh, intermediate gains left and right. So I'm just realizing that right now, coach, I'm making actual intermediate gains. This 65 pound dumbbells are moving a lot, a lot faster. I want to keep them moving super, super fast. Uh, just like, well, I'd like them to move super, super, super duper, extra super fast, but I've got to wait for that. So I just keep on doing my, uh, my sets of 10 with them. And I'm a lot more solid with this uh, with these 65ers in my hand, so the, that's coming up. Uh, using the, the the shoulder press is coming up. Also here, I'm using the entire red band. So instead of just one part of it, I'm using both. That's a that's a big deal. I couldn't do that before. And uh, I'm looking a lot more solid here with the with the curls. And I'm feeling a lot better. I'm hyped up again. I got my fire back. Let's train. Let's 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 really really crush these old personal bests. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll talk with you. Later. All right. God bless you. Stay safe out there. Thanks again to everybody who's been positive. I really really appreciate you. And if you stuck around this far, I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.